Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Ryherd. Well, it is Thursday, Drought Monitor Day, as we like to do here. Starting off with last week's Drought Monitor, just to give you some context, a lot of severe uh, drought there in that orange color. But now, as we tack on this week's new data, you'll notice that orange disappears. We're down to moderate or dry conditions in many parts of eastern Iowa. Now, obviously, there is still severe or even extreme drought to the south there, Wapolo County, Keokuk County uh, as well. So certainly, again, we are dealing with that drought. Drought. We still need rain. There's not a lot coming our way in the forecast, but with uh, that heavy rain, if you remember last Wednesday, that's accounted for in this release. That helped uh, things improve for us yet again. Crop report as of Monday shows improvement to corn 64% good to excellent, to soybeans 58% good to excellent. Both of those numbers up from the last report. Topsoil moisture about 55% adequate now across the state. Now, again, not a lot of rain coming our way in the forecast. Probably going to see those numbers dropping a little bit here in the future. What we do have highlighted today in your first alert is wind. As we'll continue to see those gusts out of the northwest right now, 15 to 20, uh, 20 miles per hour, probably seeing those picking up into that 25 mile per hour range or so this afternoon and continuing uh, throughout the afternoon hours. Northwest winds mean kind of reinforcing that cooler air for us, bringing that in. And again, as we head through the afternoon, that's with us. Then this evening, we'll see those winds starting to drop off. Let's check out that zone cast for the day today. Northeastern zone around 79 for Harper's Ferry, 80 in Guttenberg, Manchester 79 to and 80 in Dubuque. In our northwestern zone around 81 in Rhinebeck, 82 in Waterloo, and 77 for Fredericksburg and Fayette today. In our central zone, 81 in Cedar Rapids, Mount Vernon, Center Point up to 80 and 82 in Blairstown and Dysart. In our southern zone, climbs to 82 also for Kelowna and Kyoto, 83 in Iowa City today. Muggy meter for us here in the next couple of days, staying relatively good for late July. We'll see lower 60s or 50s for those dew points here today. Tomorrow, starting to see those rising again on Saturday back to the lower 60s and continuing to see rising dew points into the middle 60s throughout next week. And uh, that's where that heat will really start to turn up. Tonight, though, temperatures down into the middle and upper 50s, a mostly clear sky overhead, actually kind of below average for us in terms of those lows. Temperatures will return uh, closer to normal and then above that as we head through the weekend, though middle 80s on the way Saturday and Sunday. You'll notice that small shot and some spotty afternoon showers there on Saturday. Then this bubble of heat really starts to build in as we head through next week. We'll be in the 90s for a large portion of next week. So enjoy the quote unquote cooler days while we have them there with those lower 80s Thursday and Friday, middle 80s for the weekend. And then there's those 90s back for us as we uh, head through next week. 90 on Monday, middle 90s by uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's going to be a toasty reg bray week, that is for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Important to get those rides done in, in early in the morning, but even overnight, not super chill. Yeah, not, <laughs> not a lot of relief if you yeah. notice those overnight lows. Some nights by the end of next week, we're only dipping down to around 70. So uh, those those tent campers, it's, it's going to be warm. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Jan.